Today we're going to do the very first step for sewing our special pillows. Um, we're going to be painting these pieces of fabric with paint. Um, for each color, there's going to be a paintbrush that is specifically for that color. So you don't have to worry about using water to wash out your brush in between colors. We're just going to stick with one brush for one color and you're going to paint. You want to get a lot of paint onto your brush so it's a little bit like full and that's going to get you a nice bright color on your fabric and we're going to be painting dots today um, because this fabric is kind of um, see-through and it's it soaks up a lot of liquid if we were to try to paint a line or a shape it wouldn't really show up very good so we're just going to fill the whole piece of fabric with paint. You want to make sure and get dots all the way to the edge. You want to make sure and get dots in the corner. You want the whole fabric to be covered in dots. And I would start with one color. And then once you're done with that one color, you can go ahead and switch to another color. When I'm filling in with different colors of dots, I'm going to be really careful to not put my paintbrush on top of another color of paint. Since I'm not washing my brush out, I don't want to get paint accidentally, like maybe accidentally get orange or yellow on my brush and then dip back into the purple and then that purple paint would be messed up. So you kind of want to be really careful about making sure that your brush is only touching the fabric kind of finding an empty hole, an empty space where that dot can go and making sure that your brush doesn't really touch any of the other colors. Once you're finished filling up the whole piece of fabric with at least like three different colors of dots, probably won't have room for more than three, but you can pick up to three different colors. Once you're done filling up your whole fabric with those dots, this is the most important part. You do not want to pick up the fabric, right? This fabric is very like thin and the paint is really heavy. And so if you pick up the fabric, it's going to like fold and flop and then your dots are going to get messed up. So you are going to keep it on your messy mat and you're going to put it, you're going to carry your messy mat like a lunch tray with two hands and you're going to put the messy mat into the drying rack. Um, and you want to make sure that you get two pieces of fabric painted today because tomorrow we're gonna to start sewing together those two pieces of fabric to make a pillow.